Last of Us. Let's talk about it. This week we got the DLC episode, which if you don't know already, that means that in the game, this was added on afterwards the game original game came out. This episode is completely focused on Ellie, just like in the game. And we get to see her backstory a little bit more. And I really love how this episode expanded on multiple aspects of Ellie's past, right before she was consider the savior from humanity back when she was just a kid a kid in the quarantine zone like what was a childhood in the apocalypse like i just really love this episode as it added so much lore to ellie's backstory and you really get to understand even more who ellie is something that people who play the game we did get that but now we're even getting more and i feel like when i go back to play the game i'm gonna have that in mind now now we're going to get into some spoilers, so if you haven't watched the episode, don't forget to drop a like and then come back later when you finish it. I love that flashback scene in which we see Ellie in the Fedra Aca Academy. Um, when Ellie's talking to that Fedra captain, like, the Fedra captain means well. He's right. Without Fedra, people would be killing each other, looting each other. But then again, Fedra is not keeping themselves in check. The good parts of the mall scene are some of the fumu happy moments last of us has like in this episode when they go to the arcade or ellie's reaction to something as simple as an escalator bella ramsey delivered the reactions to every little wonder of them all so well like it just brought some joy but obviously we know how everything goes and i knew how everything was going to go down from the get-go and and I just like to turn to the people who are watching the show who have never played the games and I want to see the reaction when things obviously don't go according to plan. Seeing the scene where they get bit was rough. Riley and Ellie just really thought it was over. And for one of them, it was. In a way, Riley saved Ellie's life. The way they displayed that on the show was so good. I love how you get to see that light in the world and you see what turns off that light. The trauma The Last of Us gives you, it's not over. These last two episodes were the ones I was highly hinting at in my last video. Because these two episodes are where like everything just goes boom. I have trust in Neil Druckmann to deliver just as he has this whole season. This first season of Last of Us has already been perfect. At this point, this is just a victory lap. Can't wait to see these two episodes close out what has been one of the best first seasons of all time in TV. Seriously, this show is perfect. If this is the first review you're watching, what are you doing watching? Close this out. Go watch HBO Max right now and put Last of Us Episode 1. You will not regret it. Well, I'm Marco Castaneda. Till next time.